I've had the opportunity of firing the Glock 18 in all three generations, the Glock uh, 18 Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3. Uh, this one here happens to be a Gen 3 uh, 18C, which means it's ported. Uh, we're going to use, we're going to fire a few rounds on semi, and then we're going to fire some on auto. The ammunition we're using here is uh, is a Fiocchi cartridge. It's a little bit lower powered than the standard NATO ammunition, so those can cause some uh, problems with the short recoil. Uh, but we're going to see how she shoots. Eyes and ears, hot. Greatest gun in the world to get if you're ever in a, a gunfight in a phone booth, but it's a lot of fun. I'm Scotty Banger. I'm the training manager here at Glock Professional, and we're going to be doing a quick demo with the Glock 18. Uh, we teach the Glock 18 a one-day operator's course here at the factory. Uh, we can't take it around the country. Normally it's for facilities, law enforcement, military, things of that nature. Uh, we're going to go do a quick demo in reference to how to properly shoot the Glock 18. When it's in semi-automatic mode, it shoots and feels just like the G17. Okay, so when I have it in semi-automatic mode with the selector lever pushed up, it shoots and feels just like the Glock 17, okay? So if I shot a couple of rounds in semi-automatic mode, I can keep my stance just like my normal fighting stance. Athletic, get aggressive behind the gun, I'm gonna shoot one round at a time. Semi-automatic mode, it shoots and feels like the 17. Once I rotate the selector switch down to fully automatic mode, now I'm gonna modify my stance slightly because now the gun will tell me whether or not I'm shooting aggressive and if my grip is good. So I'm gonna slightly step back a little further. I'm gonna lean really into it. So I'm gonna lean really into it to get my weight behind the gun. So I'm pushing on the gun as the gun is pushing up against me, helps the gun to run. So we're gonna rotate the selector switch down to full auto mode. Nice tight grip, lean into it. There you have it. Welcome to Small Arm Solutions. Today we're, we really have a rare treat. We're looking at the Glock Metal 18. And the reason why we're, we're having to look at that is I'm actually at Glock USA right now. At, uh, I work for their operator course, which is a brand new uh, course that they're doing for shooting. Which has been an, it's been an awesome time. Uh, the Glock 18 uh, has been around since the since the late 80s. Um, it was designed uh, actually for the, the special forces out of um, Austria. Um, to here, it's uh, it's really a unicorn. You don't really get to see that many of them. There's probably been a couple thousand of them imported. Um, they've only been sold to law enforcement and military. But the one we got here is a Model 18C. Or C means uh, compensated, which as we can see in the top here. We can see the ports. Now notice it looks like a standard Glock 17, but uh, this is the major difference right here. You have two positions. You have uh, the top, which is semi, and it works just like a Glock 17, on the semi-automatic. Then when you drop down, you are in the fully automatic mode, and uh, this sucker spits out about 1,300 rounds a minute. Uh, it's extremely fast. Um, it's extremely controllable as well. Uh, it's definitely designed for close quarters. Uh, it utilizes a 33 shot magazine. But what we're going to do is we're going to show some of the differences between the Glock 17 and the Glock 18 because granted they look similar, but they are not interchangeable. Uh, there's been several changes that have been made to the Glock 18 uh, to prevent the conversion uh, from one to the other. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take it apart. We're going to field strip it. Thing we're going to look at is the slide. As you see, yes, the front is the same, but the rear is where we see some differences. We see a, a notch cut right here. When it goes into fully automatic, that trips down like so. And what that does is it trips this sear area right in here. And what that does is you pull the trigger, it holds everything down so as the, uh, the slide goes back to the rear, the striker is held in place by the cruciform, and once it reaches the lock position, this trips this location right here and it fires the shot. So 
this is the main difference between the two slides. Now, another major difference is too, is they are not compatible. If you take a model 18 frame, and you go to put it on a 17 slide, it don't fit. Um, the, the, the distances uh, for, the, for the rails are much different, so you cannot interchange the components. So that's uh, number one lack of interchangeability. So we're going to look forward uh, more into the frames. Looking at the Glock 18 on, the, on my right, I'm sorry, on the left, excuse me. Notice we have a different shaped cruciform. And you'll notice you have the this engagement area right here. Everything from here forward is the same. The frame is different, like we showed you just before with the slide. Um, you cannot interchange slides. This has to, a Glock 18 frame has to have a Glock 18 slide. A Glock 17 has to have a Glock 17 slide. So the uh, these parts are not sold uh, separately. You cannot uh, buy Glock 18 parts unless you have an agency that uses the pistol, uh, which is why you see a lot of the converted guns right now have the uh, modified. Um, back plates that have the switch on them. So just to recap it here, major differences in the frame, on the, uh, the, the distance uh, of the rails, uh, make lack of interchangeability, the trigger bar trigger mechanism is all is all different. Uh, the way it's cut out is different as well. So the, uh, the trigger assembly here um, and, the, and the block assembly, those are all different between the two. Those are not interchangeable either. Uh, so you have to have a Glock 18 uh, trigger bar mechanism uh, with the with the with the block in here. Same thing with the Glock 17. Not interchangeable. The frames. Uh, these uh, model, the Glock 18s came out in a Gen 1, a Gen 2, and a Gen 3. Uh, we haven't yet to see a Gen 4 yet, but uh, I imagine you will see it in the future. Um, but uh, for as far as reliability and durability, they're just like any other Glock. However, uh, going on fully automatic, there is a difference. Um, due to the inertia of the way the uh, Glock 18 shoots, again, 1,300 rounds a minute, you really need to have proper mil-spec ammunition for it to shoot. A lot of commercial ammunition has a lack of power behind it uh, to have it cycle. It's designed for basically 9mm NATO ammunition, which is 124 grain bullet, 85 foot a second. Uh, so to make this thing work reliable, that is what best you're going to have. A lot of these lighter target loads will cause it to short stroke, uh, where it won't on semi-automatic, but on, on fully automatic it will. Um, the first time I got to use one of these, um, we shot quite a bit of rounds through it, and the way the uh, instructor uh, cooled it down was he had a bucket of water. So after we fired five or six magazines on it full auto, uh, he had a bucket of water, he dipped it in a bucket of water, cooled it down, and we were right back at it. The 18C is definitely, or the Glock 18 in general, is a very highly specialized uh, pistol. There are actually a few agencies in the uh, in, in the United States that issue them to the police officers. Uh, it's definitely been popular, uh, I won't say popular, uh, for as far as people who buy them. It's mostly SWAT, uh, military. There are very few of these in private hands. Uh, in fact, the, uh, the third uh, gun I shot was a Gen 1 Glock 18. That was in the, it was a Long Mountain Outfitters collection out in Las Vegas. Uh, the first one I shot was uh, in New York State. It was a uh, Glock rep in New York State. And then the uh, second time was a, uh, a rep out in the Wisconsin area. Uh, you don't see, even see a lot of Glock reps with these uh, anymore either. Um, they're a lot of fun uh, to shoot, and believe it or not, for a machine pistol, it's uh, it's fairly accurate and, and, and uh, easy to easy to control. Even with that high rate of fire, uh, once you bear down on it, it, it doesn't move. Um, here at the school, uh, everybody got a chance to shoot this, and they were firing at. Uh, I think it was three or five, three or five yards, and there was no holes in the wall uh, or the ceiling. Uh, everybody kept it on target. Uh, it's definitely designed for close quarter in. Uh, this is definitely the rarest of all Glocks that's out there, uh, but there's a lot of interest in it. You're seeing a lot of guys who are doing those conversions with the aftermarket uh, levers that replace the back here, um, which work very similar to uh, the way this one does. But the true Glock 18 uh, Cs and true Glock 18 pistols, very, very, very rare. And I'm very thankful for having the opportunity to come here at Glock where I was able to not only take this incredible operator's course, but also get a chance to play with this one. If you guys have any questions, uh, please leave a, a comment for me. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, please subscribe, and even better, share. Thank you.